Hello everyone, my name is Andy Raphael from eTechnics.com and we're here at our lovely hotel in London with NVIDIA. We've got Tom with us, who uh, works directly with NVIDIA and uh, he's going to be showing off uh, a lovely new card that's on the market very, very soon. Um, we're not really allowed to, to tell you too much until the NBA date, which is obviously when this video is going to publish. Um, we would like to tell you sooner, but that's just not going to happen. So Tom's really going to tell us about this new card and uh, some of the new key features that it's got. So Tom, take it. All right, excellent. Well, thanks for uh, inviting me out here today. The, the new card is called the GTX 680, and it is our new flagship. It's really exciting. Um, it is the leading uh, perf per watt and also the fastest graphics card on the planet, of course. It has two new technologies, though, that are really new. One is called GPU Boost and the other one's called Adaptive VC. GPU Boost is all about raising the clock dynamically based on monitoring uh, all kinds of different hardware features, things like power consumption, temperature, utilization, all those factors come into this little algorithm we call GPU Boost, and GPU Boost calculates the voltage and frequency in real time. It is very similar to what happens on CPUs, where the clock goes as high as it can uh, based on real-time hardware-based information. So let me show you a little example. Um, this is a new tool from EVGA called Precision X. And it's a, it's a very good hardware monitor for looking at the way GPU Boost works. So the way to dive into it, um, the top thing here is the clock. Then there's the power, which we're now monitoring and reporting in real time. And then down here is utilization. So let's just see what happens when I jump into Battlefield 3. And obviously, when it comes to these different applications, there's going to be uh, various different ones from all other brands, not just EVGA. Of course. All right, so I'm going to run around here and just sort of show you what the power's at. Um, if you look on the left hand side, let me pause this thing, it's running at a clock right now of 1097 and it's consuming variable amounts of power but averaging around 80 percent and the utilization is running at about 63 percent. So what you're seeing right away is the clock is being boosted. Um, the default clock, the base clock is 1005 and the clock is already boosting by about 10 percent just because the game is a relatively low power game on a per frame basis. So let's also show you what you can do with overclocking. Now overclocking is when I raise the default clock and let's just see if we can raise it by like 150 megahertz. So I'm going to apply that and then I'm going to come back into the game. And this is all cool because you don't even have to like jump out of the games. Now if you look on the left hand side right here, I'm running up, well let's see I was running up, I'm running up at around 1250, now it's down to 1145. So the cool part is, all this variation where it goes up and comes down, that's based on real-time hardware monitoring. So what probably happened is I ran out of power on my card. So let's go back over to this little tune thing and increase the power budget. Um, the card is guaranteed to work up to the limit, which is 132%. So you're not going to damage the card. There's nothing risky about it. And go ahead and just increase the power and see what we get. Come back over to the game. And now we're still, uh, now we're up to 1250 again, right? So by adding more power to the card, allowing it to go higher, we're boosting the clock up even more. So right now a solid 1250 and it's that easy. So um, GPU Boost, it's all about uh, raising the performance dynamically and uh, kind of interactively. Let me show you one more thing. If instead, I'm sorry, go ahead. Sorry, and this is all done on the fly, which is obviously really handy for people who are you know, tweaking their graphics card bit by bit. They can get to do it whilst they're actually still in the game, especially if you're using multiple monitors, which is uh, another key feature that That's hopefully you can speak cool. about as well. I will. So let's, uh, let's show one more thing on, on GPU Boost. If I just uh, lower the power instead of raising the power, I'm going to go back to stock clocks. So I'm going to dial the power down to like 84% and now get back into the game. Um, what I will expect to see is the clock is actually going to be running a little bit slower. And now see how it's kind of wiggling around there a little bit? If I kind of run around, I'm going to lower the clock even a little bit more. So down to like now 79% on the power. And then coming back over into the game. Uh, let's see. Now what you're seeing is the clock's at like 1084 and then it wiggles down to 1071 and it's really kind of moving a lot and that's because it's optimizing on a per frame basis based on how much power is being consumed. Alright, so that's GPU Boost. Let's get out of here. Um, the other thing that's cool about this card is we now have four heads available on one card so you can run 3D vision surround plus a fourth display all on one graphics card. 
And the last feature I want to tell you about is called Adaptive VSync. Now what Adaptive VSync does is in the control panel, uh, there's a new setting all the way at the bottom, which is called Vertical Sync. In Vertical Sync, you can now set on or off or this new thing called Adaptive. Now what Adaptive does is it leaves VSync on when the frame rate's high. And what that does is it dramatically gets rid of tearing. So you don't have like half the screen showing one frame and another half showing another frame. But when VSync is off, you know, like when adaptive is on and the frame rate drops, we'll automatically turn off VSync. So the frame rate stays as high as it possibly can when the frame rate is below 60. So what adaptive does is it prevents tearing when the frame rate's high, but it avoids this kind of like hitching and stuttering that would normally happen with VSync. So adaptive VSync, GPU boost, two major new features of our brand new GTX 680. And obviously one of the other key features, which is uh, quite a big one in my heart, is the uh, NVIDIA surround on a single card. Yeah, very now, cool. obviously that's something that's going to compete with AMD Infinity, where you've been able to use one card. With NVIDIA, it's always been two cards or a dual GPU card, like the GTX 590. Yep. Uh, but it doesn't just stop there. Like you were saying, you can have a fourth monitor, which is going to be great for something like GPU Boost, where you can be running a game, especially you know across a, a large resolution, really testing the power of the card and then still be monitoring everything else on the other yeah, screen. Very cool. So uh, yeah, some really interesting stuff here today. Um, can't believe quite what I've seen in terms of um, not just the performance, but the other things as well in terms of power, temperatures, and even just sitting here next to that card. It's, it's virtually silent. Um, so all I can say is head back to uh, etechnics.com and check out the reviews, uh, which will be when we actually publish this video on the 22nd. Um, and all I can say is if you're not blown away, then you don't even deserve to have one of these cards because <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. And uh, the only word I've actually used today really is interesting because uh, it all, it, it's all very interesting, lots of new features. Yeah. And I can tell you're excited. I, I love it. I love it. I think it's pretty exciting. And, and I'm, I'm totally looking forward to the review cycle. I, I hope that uh, everybody's as delighted about the, uh, the new technology in the card as, as we are. Yeah, that's brilliant. So my name's Andy Raffel from eTechnics.com, and we've been speaking with Tom and NVIDIA. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. And uh, check back soon.